Hello and welcome. I've got to say, I am really enjoying this. <laughs> it is very, very different. It is, I mean, it is a farm again, we all know that, but it is really nice just sometimes to actually sort of go the a, a different route. And there are only so many routes. It is, I often sort of think, oh, I'll do this. And then, like, I think, well, I've got the grass route, or I can do the chaff route, or I can do. Yeah, there's only so many things, especially at the beginning when the you know, cash is. Um, yeah, you've not got much cash, really. And I love this. I've been wanting to have a go of this for absolutely forever, the Akimo build uh, set. Yeah, I want to also get rid of the trees in this area. But, uh, not sure. I'd like to have the uh, excavators take that rock away. Like that. Yeah, I was just testing, but yeah. <laughs> Apologies for like doing that. Well, no, I suppose it is true. It's it's another one of those mods, isn't it? Really, that is quite stupendous. But we've got to make this a little bit more. Yeah, I mean, you could have a rock taken away like that. That's that's my point. I'm going to do these trees likewise. We need to make our work area as good as it can be, as you would do in real life, really. If this is the yard, you tend to most humans it's inbuilt that you want to improve your environment whether it's work environment home environment or whatever it's an inbuilt inbuilt thing i always think in most of us except for if your first impulse is laziness and then like that overrides a lot of things so right so yeah pull that back i just wanted to do this before we go down the bottom and do the tree devourer and all that type of stuff and stick yeah there's a quite i've got quite a few ideas that i would like to do but the trouble is it's taken us away from the farming i would i mean we have bought stuff already to do farming too so we are going to do that but all uh, right let's drop this yeah we need the trailer i'm glad it's the bigger one I, I, this is not my favorite trailer but i do love it it's a push there aren't many pushes in the game it's it's just naturally very expensive that's that's my biggest thing we got this in the sales though and obviously that's super duper i'm loving the cactuses really really loving those I, when i saw them i thought they're different ages ago i put them in by nicky i'm a massive fan of nicky's work and uh yeah it was right so then uh oh oh we filled it again we're gonna have to force tip then because we need this for wood chips right okay so then let's go up to the shop grab the chipper yeah, we've got the field scanner, but that's really for later. Uh, we, yeah, we'll leave the little tractor up there as well. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna go into a time lapse. I think we're gonna like get some work done, and yeah, we're down to twenty-five thousand. But I think we repaired most of the stuff, didn't we? Really? So yeah, I'm gonna do this because we've got quite a trek right down the bottom and all the rest to do. What is those red things on the tables? They look very barbecues oh wow they're not on the tables they're right next to the tables very oh i do love this yeah yeah no it's just wooden sort of things yeah not sure if there are collectibles on this i am enjoying my time i've got to be honest i've always sort of felt a little bit but i mean again yeah i suppose the curse can still strike what i normally find is i have like been on the map quite a few times and I've always recognised, like I have with quite a few uh, never, never been a massive fan of the actual farmyard um, I don't know, it just yeah, I'm not, not trying to be critical, just just I don't know, I don't know this is not a bad area for us to actually grab later on is it, where are we how much would that be for 45? Oh, that's not bad. It would make a cracking farmyard. I mean, I know we've got our area down there, but that's just a work area. This would make a perfect farmyard with quite a bit of stuff all around. So that, oh yeah, obviously was some sort of farmyard. And when we own it, we'll uh, lift that up, I think. Yeah, I'm determined. I, I like this. We're close to the shop. That's one of my favorite sort of things. Let's grab the yeah anyway I said I was gonna go into time so we've got some trees to devour so I'm gonna say my words we're gonna have a chat afterwards I'm gonna see you guys and gals on the other side
right, well, I didn't think I'd be able to do that. So I thought I was like, going to have to run down to the silo. But, uh, yeah, it, it, I know it has, but not all of them let you put things in that are like an output normally. So that's quite useful. So then we have moved. Yeah, I'm not going to like do all of the wood in one go. I thought I'd do, to make it useful, that bit of land has now got an awful lot of bits where you can put productions down or that type of things whilst we're a little bit skinned and also the wood chips are going to come in useful for what I was really sort of an, uh, hoping for so let me just remind myself yeah you can actually put that as a weight can't you uh, spread a stroke line a 24 meter that is a that is very good actually I've got to be honest although <laughs> we, we can't afford it oh well, isn't that amazing? Another one of those. They're beautiful to have two of those. And all that's going to be fantastic. But hey ho, it's not going to happen. No, well, unless it's there in the morning. So, yeah, there's nothing we can do. We have put our stone in for the day and all the rest of it. We can, of course, now send our stuff over to. Yeah, we've got. Uh, how much we've we got? 22 tons of lime. Iron ore 7. Gold copper. Yeah, so silicon, golden bright. Okay, let's send our from this one. We need to send the gold ore distributing, the copper ore distributing, and yeah, we haven't got any of this lot, have we? No. So that's all that we've got for that. I would like to bring the iron ore in. I think if we're going to do this type of thing, so silicon. What is that from then? Quartz and producers silicon itself so gold production we want to do copper production we want to do if we're going to speed up an hour that was short i mean it takes that across at 10 o'clock should and we earned a little bit of cash somehow well we are selling bits and bobs i suppose so then we should have well, it did some copper uh, oh no it did you know it is it's in there i was looking at the outgoing yeah, so storing, 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 quartz sand. How do we actually do that? Is that sand producers industrial place and quartz sand? So we need to buy sand for this, for the universe. If we're going to bring that sort of side of it in, of course. Yeah, we've we bought, yeah, I, I just will say, I know we, we should really do that, but it, this let's play is not really, it's not about that. So, we've, yeah, I didn't realise how close we were to the back of the map. That's really, very cleverly disguised. Very cleverly disguised. So, let's go through till tomorrow morning, where we're probably going to lose nearly all of that little lot. And we shall see what our gold and that. Yeah, I've only done this once on Gary Epp, and I can't remember much about it only the fact that we got robbed by thieves uh, in Africa no it basically I needed to put the sale point down and uh, I took all of the gold which should have earned us a fortune and it actually didn't because uh, the yeah it only recognized it as one bit of gold doing very well out of the I'd like to put some more of the um, cactuses down as well And although you can do the factories mod, I think I'd sooner put them down so that they've sort of taken up the space that the uh, should sort of take up, really. Good luck in a minute. We'll just get the uh, the daily. Yeah, we'll, I think we'll get the bulldozers in and level this a bit as well. Yeah, so, because it's still a bit of a pain to get in. Yeah, on Garriette, we got a lot of stone on the, of the giant field that we got. Uh, so that was when I thought that that, that would actually be a really good mod to bring in because it needs quite a lot of stones. We've seen we've been chucking loads of stone in there, and to try to find the little tiny bits of gold that we found, it's not the easiest of things. So, but that that you wouldn't want it to be too easy, otherwise it would be sort of boring if you weren't millions off to yeah. ooh, ooh, ooh. I think that's the thing that ruin, ruined uh, Rogue River Valley for me was the fact that we sort of why are we it's because it's uneven ground I think even a tractor yeah it's not can't turn properly this is what I was getting last time it's 
it's the ground is sort of defeating even a tractor's ability to uh, go because it's doing weird things to the to the back link. It really is. I can't just can't turn. Whether it's the combination of the two or just the fact of like where we are, yeah, it's. I don't think I have said this before. All tractors have got some implements that they just don't like. And this doesn't seem to like the trailer very much, uh, especially on the on, on uneven ground. Right. So how did we do on our uh, productions, the gold and everything? Yeah, I'm not expecting it. It really won't. Yeah, we want this is the one we want to look at, isn't it? So we've got ooh nine 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 of copper, ten out of one hundred litres of gold. Now we need to check uh the copper and see how much copper is actually worth. I think it's worth quite a bit, but not like gold obviously. Yeah, and you can see by the the gold is little amounts. Yeah, one gold. We've got ten. So this is where we do do quite well, I think, if I'm remembering this correct. Yeah, March. And you can see it doesn't... Yeah, we're going to put the proper sale point down as well. And we're not going to put it right on the doorstep. Copper. It, even that is quite good. Right, so, let's, let's go and do... Oh, have we run out of space or... Yeah, we have. Right, okay. So then, let's... I mean, it doesn't doesn't really matter because we're going to sell it the other way. So I suppose it doesn't really matter if we place the sell point wherever we wanted. But I'm not going to do that. No, I'm going to place it. We can put, now. Yeah, this is one of those things about being able to place with that mod that you can place anywhere. And it's really only designed so that you you can always work on roads. But obviously, it's useful if you're going to put something down like we're trying to do now. Where it's a sell point that's supposed to be something representing the map itself. As in, yeah, like not, not literally for us. So, let's. I think it'll be further along than this, but I'm not sure. Uh, Apologise for this. Yeah, oh, here we go. It's sand. Gravel. Oh, no, it is everything. Stick it like. Actually, we could go on the road, couldn't we? Really? Fantastic. So now we should see a little bit of a difference. We should actually see that this now can show where things are. So, wow. Copper. Now, this would be interesting now that we've got the proper thing down, to be honest. Universal point of sale. 113,400 so really what we want to be doing now is saying sell our products I'm intrigued on this and sell yeah because this this should work out exactly how much we do straight away and we shall see whether I'm right or I'm wrong It's it, it's not bad. It isn't bad. Bearing in mind that's months and months of us doing our work. Yeah, it's not obviously. It's really not. Uh, I think we'll just keep them selling. I, I just honestly think that that's probably the best way to do it. Lime, we've got plenty. Iron ore, again. Can we have that? No, it's it's an expensive plant, but I think we can afford it. Truthfully, now. But I don't, I, yeah, I don't want to build Rome in a day. Let's have a look to see what is still available. Standard capacity tipper. Extended capacity tipper. Unreal. No, we're not trying to go silly. Narrow X3 outriggers, extended X3 outriggers. Yeah, I, I know what this is for. Um, Volvo VNX narrow X3 outriggers. Attaches. Huh. Rear hitch as well. 
that's what I'm really interested in. That's that's a good good one too. We haven't got a lorry yet. But that that is a cracker. 180 horsepower as well, straight off. Mechanical back ops. Yeah, we'll go low air filter, chrome exhaust with high air filter, chrome exhaust with low air filter. Oh, yeah, I like that. And we should have, yeah, I don't, yeah, we want front hydraulics, even if it costs us a bit more. So that's a bit more like, I mean, we've already got a powerful tractor. That's not, not what I'm saying at all. But yeah, it's nice to have a couple. Let's do it with the Fiat Agri. Still a little noisy. It really is. Do we... Are we going to do that? No. Um, that one... I, yeah, we can still get the H2 Studios. And I think that does all bulk liquids too. Hang on a minute. So have we got too much... In the original one? Oh, we have. So, how much does it actually do every 480 materials missing? Water. Why is the water distributed? Right, okay. What, what was I saying about not needing? Uh, yeah, we need to grab some water. It, it, it's not doing its job. We've got millions of litres of water in there and not a drop in our... <laughs> right, we, we've got to fix this. We have the means now. Yeah, ooh, I don't know if I'm the right way really. Uh, well, the big fields aren't they, truthfully. Yeah, I'm, I'm much chuffed actually with that. That is fantastic. My faith has been rewarded for walking the path that we walked, and I like that a lot. Right, so, here's a bit of a trek. We will get, yeah, let's get everybody repaired and we'll get a bit of a tray, a track going trail um, and everybody coming back with us I think. Do we time lapse this? Yeah I'd like to get a little bit more done than this in the one session that we've sort of done and the only way I really know how to do that is really to time lapse and we've got our beautiful uh, the actual yeah so this grass field is looking good for in the future although I think there's another one straight outside our door so that likewise I do love these sheds I'm really yeah, I do uh, love the fact that almost all of the fields have got shed. Now I've, I've got to be honest I've always said I think that's the best um, the proper way to have lots of uh, sheds is on the side of the fields that you actually use rather than all at your farmyard where I mean especially when your farm scattered and your fields are all over the place and to me it makes no sense to have all of your equipment stored in a central location when really your fields can be miles away although obviously there's a security element as well depends how isolated your field is and also if you haven't got any kind of security gear there's no I can understand why with traditional farms that it was that way right, so then Is it? I think the actual shop is here, isn't it? I don't think I actually looked closely. I'd say it's, it's... If it was logical, it would be here. <laughs> right. So then, uh, I think we probably will go for the... Or do we... Ah, that is a point. Do we, do we sort of go out and into the slurry tankers? Uh, which you can also use. I often overlook this, and it's something that, um, yeah, like of course, there's uh, not the shooter. It all looks a little similar. The Kaweco is is my, because it's large as well. Well, reasonably large, and not terribly expensive. Twenty five cubic meters, and is capable of yeah, twenty five cubic meters of water. There is a slightly smaller one. Which I like this one here by STV modding 18 cubic meters but it's quite a lot the Omentana is a bit bigger but I like the fact that that one you can put the Moasca duo on 
this one you can but it's its own which I don't think it'll be as good as the actually Kaweco duo yeah so you've got a tank with arm which is just a tank the distributor which I don't know how big that is doesn't sort of tell you 300 horsepower distribute with arm swifle which is just standard and the swifle with arm and moesca yeah and then you have got the moesca with arm and the moesca duo but I'm not sure this is the moesca duo that you can actually get separately but I think if you do that it's no longer a tank but I'm not sure if I'm wrong and I, I would say you can probably rejig it so how much would it cost you as just a tank no extra so if you went Moesco duo with arm or without arm it's only 3000 anyway so I'm, I think we'll buy it as a multi-purpose 25 cubic meters it's not my normal thing but I've got to start to actually do this I think where I, I like think a bit outside the box because it is a very good price it really is a cracking price we've got the biggie so we can actually use it and we are going to buy it we'll reconfigure it as well so we want to get a we're going to need a trailer really to like to get things we've got a telehandler so we need ah yeah I'm going to go my standard what I would always go with really which is the TPS it is a beaut it really is because it's our money's going to soon run away uh, I'm going to go silver I do love this yeah, it seems to be my uh, colour of choice now on nearly every let's play except sometimes I go red <laughs> right okay so well, oh, toolbox, toolbox. Yeah, we need a toolbox. Right, let's grab one of those. Uh, I'm going to go red for... It's not because it's just the cheapest, it's because it's red. Yeah, I find that I lose these a lot. I, I, yeah, well, I think what is happening with me is I... Uh, I rush across the map and I don't always strap it down. It's my present theory. Let's stick this on here. The very, very front. It doesn't take you long to spend your money, does it? Right, so then let's grab the. Let's get this lot repaired. We'll do it at shop prices. It's just next to the pillar. Glad we got this. So I won't be able to use the slurry, but it can nicely. It's a lovely fast extractor as well. Ah, it's not actually, it's a little slow. Got lovely tyres. Right, okay then. Yeah, we've got the scanner. We've repaired that. Look, like we repaired that. We could, if we stick that on the front, grab the commander. We're going to leave the. Um, the shop is going to do some work on the harvester and we're going to order some modules but obviously only when we really need it right now it's not uh, i do love this the rex it's one of the first uh, little tractors i actually had on the uh, or better on i loved it i used to use it ever such a lot yeah, yeah i'd like to upgrade it i'm not sure how much it's going to cost so we'll have a look if we can we'll do it now because so it can go up to 112 horsepower which is going to serve as well Obviously, it is light. That's the one thing I, I'm a bit of a terror for trying to overdo even the smallest of tractors. Right. 112, 4. Yeah, we can do it. We're going to do it. Yep. Yeah. 
fantastic. Strange colours that the commander. The, <laughs> it is really strange. That is definitely true. Um, yeah, we'll get spraying that later on. As and we've got lime. We're not going to need any lime at all. Uh, do we? No, we want Kuwaiko with this. Oh, wrong one. Yeah, I'm not going to repair this. I'm leaving this in the harvester for those for the, when we really have got use for them. And the shop knows that we're going to have them repaired, so they're quite happy for them to stay here until we uh, order our bits and bobs. I think what we'll do, we'll stick this on the back of the TPS. Pull that forward a little. We don't want the uh, ramps going into the shop. Grab this and yeah, we, we can redo the, the back with the no Esca Duo. I do, so one thing I love about the STV modding, oh, that's right, I remember. Yeah, you need to buy the uh, back throughput link. We've never used that yet. I was forgetting with this. I remember the first time I actually got this and uh, realised that it had not got its back throughput link. Uh, oh, okay, we're not quite in the, uh, in the zone. Hopefully we are now. That's a little bit odd. Oh no, yeah, no, it's me actually, it is. It's, it's the actual square is there. Yeah, where it actually was. Like, all me usually is. Yeah, I thought the other thing was, I thought it was a little bit sort of a play on words. Um, the valley and gold so gold crest valley i thought if there's ever a sort of thing for you to go gold i thought why not actually oh wow uh, yeah we'll leave that at that for now and we will go 200 and we will go beacons and we will uh, okay well yeah seven my favorite number uh, quick hitch, yes. I think that's it. Yep. Just checking, because sometimes the option has been paid for already. Yep. That's not a bad price hitch, really. Let's go grab the... the tanker, as it is at present. And then we'll stick the... get this little lot back. I think that probably is the end of the session. We'll get some more work done next time. I'm liking the fact we're beginning to earn a bit of cash. We are, of course, going to invest it straight in farming now. Yeah, it's, I, I want. Obviously, it, they're going to be. A, it's going to be a. Ooh. I'm not sure we're going to fall. Ooh, just very lucky. That's a little bit bad. I mean, it was. But yeah, I didn't expect it to be really easy. That's the one I love to do. I love that one because it, it always. Uh... So I think that, yeah, that is everything. We'll just grab a Waco and uh, take this lot away. We could stick two implements. Uh, that is true, actually. Yeah, I am being silly. If we are going into... Oh no, we'll come back for some more implements another time. We will also get a telehandler for at the shop too, as I usually do. The bigger one of these, the really big one. Let's do that. So we've got a team of three tractors. I like that. that oh, I believe we really ought to be packing that away now. I don't usually forget that. Yeah, I always find the the, uh, the STV modding one, obviously it's only 150 horsepower requirement. It's only seven more tons that this actually does, and yet the horsepower requirement is actually really large. So, I mean, it does look very meaty, but what I mean is, 
Yeah, it's a. Uh, yeah, I do like that one. It's it's nice and light, but also you can have the real Moesca duo, which has got a tr terrific range. Absolutely phenomenal. Let's get this lot back. Very nippy, very agile track to this as well. Yeah, I uh, had to check my traffic because there was no traffic coming down. I'm thinking, have I switched the traffic off? I didn't see a single vehicle going down here. Now it seems to somehow have woken up. Yes, I'm looking forward to using the swapper actually, to be truthful. Oh, switch my indicator off rather than on. I do think it's true. I think we may well, uh, we may well get another tractor for doing the daily task of grabbing the um, stones and, and literally have one stationed up there. So we'll probably look for. A, it's got to be fairly meaty. I would have thought. Maybe get a trailer specially for that as well. A smaller one, perhaps, where we just do. We shall see. Yeah, it's, we obviously lost all those decent trailers. Another one of the ones that we've already got, typically. Over there, I see it. We did. It's a lovely little fast little tractor as well. This is. I suppose we could use at the minute we could leave the Fiat Agri up there. Yeah, I haven't finished with grabbing all the trees um, from the other, but I, I don't want to strip the strip the trees completely down truthfully I just you know I want to yeah just have it looking beautiful just remove the trees from the bits where we need to move the trees yeah but a good stopping is actually work but apart from that I think we'll just leave them where they are so I think we use the fin agri here if I'm uh, Now we will do the water, and I would like to go through till tomorrow morning. Really, that's that was the entire purpose for going to the shop. Uh, that is a point. The distributors have got lots and lots of water in it, so we should be able to pick this straight up. If I pick the right side, is that floating the? left like a bit of a no no it's I think it's just the wick yeah I know that's fine yeah this is not like in certain implements I've always said this it's hitch seems a little low it was a uh, really terrible one of the trailers I've got on uh, yes yeah, so, I mean I suppose yeah I'm trying to make this it really is a powerhouse that's normally like doing things like cultivators so I don't suppose it really was made for like this kind of task even though it is a tractor yeah so it, it sort of is doing it but it's not liking it ah that's on the uh, that's on the point isn't it it's on the two things on the same I keep getting the word tip point in my head but that's not really uh Ooh. it still is noisy though but not quite as noisy as uh Pepe's This is much better actually. Looks like the farm tech's better on levels than it is like. So I don't know that it is just. Yeah, it is. Not meant for on uh, hilly terrain. Ah. 
Do we need to do something to the tank? I've never, I don't think I've ever used it as a water tank. I would have thought it was just... Okay. No, it does clearly show. Unless it's at the front. There's a like a pipe at the front. Yeah, there is actually. It's weird. You've got to always learn, haven't you, where each of the... Is there anything we need to do to this? Like open. Nope. Definitely not. Right, I tell you what, I'm going to call this the end of the session. I'm going to do a little bit of... Uh, fiddling around and see if I can figure this out and then uh, next session we'll actually get some, I uh, will put one load of water in as well but yeah at least that way yeah I mean that it is really the front there is where you'd like open that handle and the water would come out so uh, let's have a look because this I was looking at this side too yeah they've both got handles and I was looking at this here is that likewise or that's plugged Maybe it needs the arm. Let's do this the other way then. I don't think it'll make a slightest bit of difference, but we'll have a go. And if I'm right, I'm right. And if I'm wrong, which I am, then I'm wrong. Yeah, right, okay, we'll have a go next session. We will, I shall have a fiddle around for a few minutes until I figure it out, or whether I need to buy the arm or what. So, all that remains to be said for this session is thank you very much for watching. I truly do hope you'll stick with me on this very different journey. I've never ever quite had a, a start quite like this. I am liking where it's going. Yeah. So I'm going to say. So tacking this arm. I am, yeah, I wanted to sort of did it. I had to get the arm to actually make it work. Uh, it wouldn't. Yeah, I mean, it is a tank, but it just seems to be that it's quite logical that there's no way for the tank to. Although there are, as we've seen, there are lots of bits and bobs. But it's also a little bit particular about where you do it on the actual grate. So yeah, I'll just show you what I figured out. Sort of on that end, and it really does have to have the arm on that sort of in the right place before it pops that's it just there it doesn't appear anywhere it, it literally is there so we figured it out anyway might not might be a little bit less funny with the arm like it costs three thousand so yeah that should be about 20 40 odd tons now yeah one more and it will be pretty much filled so that should now be working quite nicely because it is almost yeah, this all like two thirds the amount of water for that. I'm, I'm surprised the water distributor isn't distributing though better than that. Very very surprised, really. Yeah, we're gonna have another. We are gonna have a better look at the silicon and that next time. And uh, also, yeah, I'm gonna get some more of those because that is fantastic. I really do love those. Right. Anyway, yeah, I'm not gonna say goodbye because we've already said it. Hopefully see you next session.